I'm Chris Purdy and I'm a sales trader here at SpreadX on the financial desk. Typically we see in the summer months uh, much lower volumes. Uh, so a, a day in, in early August usually we'll only see 750 million shares trade on the FTSE 100. Um, during sort of early March, during uh, quarterly earnings season, we'll see far more trade. Um, as a result, every single trade that goes through when the volumes are lower will have a much bigger impact when under normal conditions it wouldn't move markets that much. So 50,000 shares of Barclays today may have more of an impact than 50,000 shares of Barclays during financial earnings season. Um, on a day when Bank of America or JP Morgan might be reporting, that trade would seem very, very insignificant um, to the overall market for financial companies. There, there can be fluctuations within a week, within a month, and within a year. Um, typically in Britain during the summer holidays when schools are out, we see a lot of people away on holiday. Um, volumes tend to be lower than in late July or through August and early September. Um, Early August of 2011 was a bit of an exception because of the downgrade to um, the U.S. Uh, but other than that, we usually consider this a very quiet time, low volumes. Um, uh, some of the other quiet times would be just around Christmas and the holiday season. Um, but very busy times we'll see usually um, at the end of every quarter, um, just after Alcoa in the United States reports its earnings, um, we kick off what's called earnings season. It, it's an unofficial official period of about three weeks where a lot of major global corporations report their quarterly earnings um, and on the back of that a lot of traders will respond and we'll see higher volumes. Um, within a given week, um, usually the middle of the week is, is packed with, with macroeconomic data and we'll see, trade, we'll see trades coming in around those reports. Uh, Mondays tend to be quieter than Fridays and uh, the biggest day of every month is always the first Friday. Friday when the non-farm payrolls report comes out of the U.S. Um, that is the big daddy of, of all macro reports and we have clients taking positions in anything and everything ahead of that. Um, you'll see markets react very clearly to those figures time and time again. So the reason that, that we have more volatility during periods of lower volume is concentration. Um, if you think about a drop of blood and a pint of water, it's pretty obvious what that one drop can do. A drop of blood in the ocean may attract a shark or two, but overall it's not going to change the color of things. In the summer months, uh, we're, we're dealing more with a glass of water than an ocean in terms of volume, um, so any little change can be very noticeable.